Hello, second graders. Let's finish lesson eight. All right, the title of lesson eight is Be Like Sherlock. So, you can first turn to page 132 in the textbook. Looks like this. And today, we're going to look at 135, this page. And then we're going to turn the page to real life talk and finish lesson eight completely. All right. So today's key phrase is a little fun. Um, I wish we can do it here in school, but that's okay. We can do it another time. So let's go ahead and move forward. First though, I want to review on the last lesson dialogues and the last key phrases. So let's do that right now. Last time I, I spoke to you, we learned the key phrase, can I, you do me a favor? It was also, can I ask you a favor? But let's keep it easy. Can you do me a favor? Can you help me blank blank? Can you help me verb blank? So let's say it together. Can you do me a favor? You can, sorry, can you help me blank blank? Okay. Of course I can. I'm afraid I can't. A a, B, all right? Or you can say A, B, this one, A. So can you do me a favor? Of course I can. Can you help me, blah, 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 blah? Okay, let's move on. Can you help me do blank? What do you do? What do you do? Do can mean anything. It can be a verb for anything. How about we can use the word homework? Can you help me do homework? Can you help me do my homework? Can you help me study? What kind of homework do you have to study? Math, science, English. Let's use that here. Let's use English. Can you help me study English? Can you help me study English? Okay. Can you help me cook? What do you cook? cook food. Can you help me cook food? Okay. Now I want you to give me, like we did last time, give me the verb. Can you help me blank the pizza? Can you help me blank soccer? Can you help me blank the door? So, can you help me make the pizza? Can you help me play soccer? Can you help me open the door? All right, this was our review practice. So, A, B, A, B. Let's just do a couple and move on to new stuff. So, I'm gonna move to this. Can you help, can you do me a favor? So, repeat after me. Can you do me a favor? What is it? Can you help me clean the board? Of course I can. How about this one? Can you do me a favor? What is it? Can you help me carry the books? No, I'm afraid I can't. Okay. All right. One more. Can you do me a favor? What is it? Can you help me cut? Can you help me cut what? Can you help me cut the vegetables? Of course I can. Okay. All right, guys. English, move on. Here's the new stuff. The new stuff is easy. I think you'll find it easy. Guess what I'm doing? This is the key phrase. Guess what I'm doing? I guess you're, so we have to change I to you. I guess you're blanking, so what am I doing? Blanking blank. It's hard to see, but this says blank I-N-G. Yes, you're right. 
Know you're wrong. All right, easy enough, right? So, guess what I'm doing? I guess you're blanking blank. Yes, you're right. No, you're wrong. Okay. So, guess what blank is doing? He, she, it. So, guess what he's doing? He is in the play. He is in the PC room, and he has his headphones on his head, and he's looking close to the screen. What is he doing? Guess what is he doing? You can say, I guess he's playing games. Simple, right? I guess he's playing games, and then you can ask, what are you doing? And if they say, I'm playing games, you can say, oh, I'm right. What are you doing? I'm studying and reading a really awesome article on the internet. Oh, I'm wrong. All right, guys. So guess what I'm doing? Guess what I'm doing? I guess you're using blank. So what am I using? You probably can see it in my hand, but guess what I'm using to make the PowerPoint, the PPT, move. You can say, I guess you're using a mouse. And I can say, you guessed right. You are right. You're right. So you're at home right now. I can say, if you were to, add, if you told me, Max teacher, guess what I'm doing? Or guess what I'm using? And I would tell you, I guess you're using your laptop or your notebook. I could say, I guess you're using your headphones to hear me. I guess you're using your desk lamp. Or I could say, I guess you're using your pen. And then you tell me if I'm right or wrong. The verb we chose is using. All right. So you can tell me, yes, you're right. No, you're wrong. All right. So let's play a little game. Guess what this is. Now, these, these are easy. You can find a lot of hard pictures to see on the internet but I chose easy ones. So guess what this is? Look at that. Guess what this is? And you're gonna say, I guess, or it is a blank. I guess it is a blank. What is it? I guess it is a pencil. Say it with me. I guess it is a pencil. Okay, let's do it again. Guess what this is? Look at that. Look at this picture. What do you think it is? Kind of looks like trombone. Do you guys know the trombone? Musical instrument. But trombone has one long bar, not two. You guys probably know what it is. Let me move this out of the way. It is a paper clip. It is a clip or a paper clip. So, speak after me. Guess what this is? It is a melon. I guess it is a melon. And yes, you're right. This is a melon. It's a melon. Okay, one more. Guess what this is? Should be easy. Is it a flower? Nah, almost looks like a flower, but no. It is a, I guess it is a kiwi. Yes, it is a kiwi. Yes, you're right. If you say, it is a flower, I guess it is a flower. I would say, you would say, no, you're wrong. All right, guys. Now, we're gonna do some practice. Guess what he is doing? Guess what she is doing? Guess what it is doing? I guess he is, I guess she is, I guess it is blanking blank. Yes, you're right, no, you're wrong. All right. Let's do it. Guess what he is doing? 
So repeat after me. Guess what he is doing? I guess he is fishing. Yes, you're right. All right. Do another one. Guess what he is doing? I guess he is dancing. No, you're wrong. Try again. No, you're wrong. Try again. I guess he's running. I guess he's running. Okay, what about this? Is he screaming? Is he screaming? Or is he singing? He is singing. So let's use the key phrase. Guess what he is doing? Guess what he is doing? I guess he is singing a song. I guess he is singing a song. All right. What about him? What if his hand is here and he has a phone? It's a lot harder. You have to guess. We don't know what he is doing. We do know he is sitting in a chair. So let's say that. Guess what he is doing? I guess he is sitting in a chair. All right, let's change the dialogue. Guess what he is doing? Let's change it. Maybe behind the head there's a ponytail. So guess what she is doing? Ponytail, if you guys don't know, is type of hair. Long hair, tied together. So she could be, she could have a ponytail, a hairstyle. So guess what she is doing? Guess what she is doing? I guess she is on her phone. I guess she is on her phone. Okay. Okay, as you can see, there's a lot of pictures. Let's, um, let's do this one. Guess what he is doing. I guess he is listening to music. No, you're wrong. Okay, if I'm wrong, what is he doing? I guess he is listening to the news. I guess he is listening to the news. Or, I guess he is listening to a podcast. All right. And then, this guy right here. That person's eating, that person's not eating, but guess, what is he doing? I guess he is eating. I guess he is eating. No, you're wrong. Really? I guess he is on his handphone. I guess he is on his phone. I guess he is on his phone. Okay. All right, guys. Let's look at our textbook, page 135. We'll do listen and speak too. And we're also going to do real life talk. All right. Let's take a look. Okay. Looking at our textbook, page 135, at the top, listen and speak to, part A, listen and circle. Which dog is Spot? There are three dogs. One dog playing with a ball, one dog playing with a shoe, and one dog playing with a baseball glove. Let's listen to the dialogue to find which one is Spot. Here we go. Did you see my baseball glove? Yes, I saw it under the table. Really? It's not there anymore. Then I guess Spot took it. Oh, there he is, you bad dog, Spot. Okay, answering in complete phrase, this is Spot. Which one is Spot? This one is Spot. Okay, now looking at part B, listen and choose. When is this speech taking place? There are three sentences. I want you to circle the right sentence, which answers when the speech is taking place. Also, let's answer the question, who are the listeners? All right, let's listen to the dialogue now. 
Good morning, classmates. Nine months have passed so fast, and we are almost at the end of this school year. We all had a wonderful year. I guess only a few of us will be in the same class next year. Don't be a stranger. Say hello when we see each other, okay? Thank you. All right. She spoke very quickly. If you want to listen again, please go back in the video and listen one more time. So, when is the speech taking place? At the end of the school year. All right. Who is listening? Who are the listeners? They are the girls' classmates. All right, now let's turn the page to page 136, Real Life Talk. We're going to watch a video to answer the questions, what is the boy looking for, and where was it? Let's watch the video now to get our answers. Here we go. I can't find my smartphone. Can you help me find it? Are you sure you lost it inside the house? Yes, I just texted my friend a few minutes ago. Where were you at the time? In the kitchen. I was making a sandwich. Then I guess you left it somewhere in the kitchen. I already checked the kitchen, Mom. Well, let's check it again. Thanks, Mom. You're the greatest. You're welcome, honey. All right. So, first, what is the boy looking for? He is looking for his smartphone. And now, the second question. Where was it? Where was the smartphone? It was in the refrigerator. All right. Now... Let's look at this dialogue right here. All right, guys, right here. Now, this is a picture in our textbook. I want us to look right here. So this box here, you'll see missing item, clue, and guess. All right, we're using this. So follow along with me with the dialogue right here. Can you help me find? Can you help me find my baseball glove? Okay. Okay. Where did you see it last? Where? On the bench. Okay. On the bench. This hat on the bike. Make sense? Okay, guys. All right. Here's our clue. Can you see it? Dog footprints. On the table, hair. On the bike, a feather. Be like Sherlock. Find the clue. All right, footprints, baseball glove on the bench. So, can you help me find my baseball glove? Okay, where did you see it last? On the bench. I guess a dog took your baseball glove. I can see its footprints on the bench. All right? There it is. I want you guys on the picture, right here, I want you to pick an item. I want you to pick an item and make a dialogue. And when you do that, you'll be finished with lesson eight. All right, guys, good job. I'll see you soon. If you have any questions, please let me know. All right, see you.